guys, welcome to Cooking with Taz. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do pip or pot in pot cooking in the instant pot. So I made shrimp curry and basmati rice in pip method and it turned out awesome. For making the shrimp curry, I'm using around 15 to 20 shrimp that's been de-shelled and de-weined. Before cooking the shrimp, I'd like to season the shrimp with some spices and let it marinate for a few minutes. Adding half teaspoon of chili powder, a few pinches of turmeric powder, quarter teaspoon of my homemade garam masala, and finally quarter teaspoon of salt. Give everything a good mix and let it marinate for 5 minutes. Let's get into cooking. Turn on the instant pot and click on saute button. It will change to on display right away and then let's wait for it to change to hot. There it is. The pot is hot. Now it's time to add 1 tablespoon of oil. 2 dried bay leaves. If you don't have bay leaves, just skip this. And let's add 3 quarter teaspoon of cumin seeds. Saute till it gets aromatic. It's time to add chopped onions. I'm using 2 yellow onions. Combine it well and let's add quarter teaspoon of salt. Let cook for a minute and then we are gonna add 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Cook till onions turn slightly tender. That will take around 3 minutes. There goes 2 chopped tomatoes and combine well. Add the marinated shrimp and then we are gonna season with some spices. Quarter teaspoon of garam masala. Half to three quarter teaspoon of chili powder. So this is based on your spice level. And remember, we have already added chili powder to the shrimp. A few pinches of turmeric powder. And two teaspoon of coriander powder. Mix, 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 mix. Let's add chopped cilantro, two handfuls. And finally, let's add three quarter cup of water. Place the trivet over this and make sure the trivet is very well washed. Next, I'm going to show you guys how I mix water and rice in the bowl. Add one cup of basmati rice. So I took the basmati rice in a strainer and I rinse it under running water. So you have to use heat resistant glass bowl or you can even use stainless steel bowl. I'm also adding some vegetables, carrots and peas, 3 quarter cup. This is just optional. If you don't want to add vegetables, just skip this. If you want to add any other vegetables, feel free to add but make sure that it's been cut very small. I like to season my rice with salt so adding half teaspoon also a few pinches of turmeric powder that will impart a nice vibrant color to the rice and also it will be very appealing to the eyes. One more spice I'll be adding that is garam masala so adding these spices are just optional. Let's give everything a real good mix and add one and quarter cups of water so for making al dente rice you will only need one cup of water for one cup of rice but for making softer rice you will need quarter cup more water and here goes the final ingredient one teaspoon of ghee or clarified butter so this is going to make the rice taste very delicious and flavorful place the rice water ball on the trivet that's placed over the shrimp and let's Close the pot with its lid. Keep the vent or knob in sealing position. Turn off the saute mode by clicking on cancel button. Click on manual, high pressure, adjust the timer to 7 minutes. Can you believe it? In 7 minutes we'll have 2 dishes ready. Who is excited? After the pressure cooking is completed, I have let the pressure release naturally for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, I'm going to do a quick release. Turn to the venting and let the steam release. I was pretty excited to open the lid as I wanted to see how both the dishes turned out. So I'm going to open the lid and there you have it guys. The rice turned out very good. It was fluffy and soft and perfectly cooked. Trust me guys, I'm not even exaggerating. Now let's see how the shrimp curry turned out. So take the rice bowl and throw it out of the pot. As you can see the gravy is a little thinner so if you want to thicken the gravy put it on saute mode and cook for 5 minutes or until the gravy thickens. That's exactly what I did. 
Isn't this cool guys? I'm a huge fan of pip cooking now. We can make multiple dishes at the same time. Here is a tip, if you want to make chicken curry, replace shrimp with boneless chicken breast that's been diced very small. Use the exact same recipe and the cooking time. You will have chicken curry and rice ready to be served in just 7 minutes. If you have liked this video, don't forget to follow me on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. I'll be back with more videos. Until then, happy cooking!